Uh, construction is ongoing just around the corner and what I would want to confirm to you, our people of uh, this part of Reiro, in my planning, because we know the level 4 hospital in Reiro is on the upper side. The, the majority of the population is on this lower side between Kawawendani, Kawasukari, Muihoko, and uh, in Mwiki and Kyo. This corner here where we are doing that level 3 hospital, it is only because of budgetary constraints of the budget that we had. But come June 2024, after our new budget, we will convert this into a full level 4 hospital. We have the space, we have the space, and notwithstanding what my friend, uh, our MCA was saying, we shall stand firm, stand bold, to ensure that the projects that benefit Wananchi will be done irrespective of people who may have grabbed public, public land. We have that challenge, uh, Kwayo Hospitali, as he has said. Let me also confirm as I conclude that here in Kahawa Sukari, we have a major problem, a very big problem. And uh, I want to call upon the community here, Dr. Calvin, my friend, because you are here, our chairman of the, of the, the session, and the entire leadership, and individually, I want to make a special appeal to all of you. Because when I became governor, I made a commitment to the people of Kiambu that for us to see tomorrow and a better tomorrow and deliver on the promises that we have made and bequeath to our children the right value and values that we should, that we must put a complete stop and end to this problem that we've been having of corruption. That, that citizens can't come and occupy land here and buy a property from vendors and sellers and watch public spaces that will be of benefit to our people. It, is, it, is, it has been one of the biggest challenges, allow me to say that to our moderator of the General Assembly. Because when I came in here, and we, say, we decided, after I visited this area, in the entire of Kahawa Sukari, entire, there is not one single public parking that where you can come to this shopping center here and park and go into your, to a supermarket. Not one. Now when I go to, to commit funds to build a public parking for all the hundreds of thousands of you, then the next thing I have caught orders from people whom I believe, and my records are clear as a governor, I have records that date back to years and years that show that that property there is public land for you, where you can put up a public toilet. You can imagine, a moderator of the General Assembly, that when, when I decided that we are going to do that public parking at night, at night, the only public toilet in Kahawa Sukari was demolished in the night by those that have been cl were claiming ownership of that property. And under, under the watch of some of the people in leadership and some of those that are in security, to the extent that they were looking for this man to arrest him at night and harass him. I want to appeal to all of you, Tafadalini, Jamini, any public property, I am already in court, where we are building the hospital there. That was part of the land that was surrendered when the entire of Kawasukari was subdivided for all of you to buy all these plots that you have bought here. Why you have bought your property? It was subdivided by a big company. They, by law, they're supposed to surrender public facilities. That part, piece of land there is what was surrendered. But they find their way to go around everybody's back and obtain documents for the same Little land they surrendered after selling thousands and thousands of acres. And this is what we have to put end firm, to an end family. That's why I stand. So, it is true. I've, I've been you know, taken to court over there, you know, over here. And there's some other public property here. But that is, that's all right. I stand firm. And what we have, we have made a decision about myself as a governor. Because I, I stand in front of the queue to be counted. I have made a commitment, and anybody in this con congregation who has interacted with me, or even heard from outside, you know, that the rich and mighty, those that have before, 
Those that even have, have attempted to come to me, I have made one commitment. I am not interested, I will not accept to betray our people for no matter how much value, either of land or money that they, that, that they prefer. I want every piece of public land back. That may not be, may, may not sink clearly to you, but I'll, I'll just give you an example as I finish. Here in your constituency, Ruiru, we have the highest populated primary school in the entire country, a few meters from here. The one in Wiki. The highest populated, where you have 200 children sitting in one classroom that's supposed to, to, to accommodate only 40 pupils. 200 young people young students sit in a class. I go there, I even want to build an ECD class. An ECD for those that are joining early childhood learning. There is not a single space. The offer that I'm given, look for a plot here, buy from an individual, demolish it, then build an ECD. Why is the land that was subdivided when more than a thousand acres of land have been subdivided in the entire of this? It was all taken by individuals. And so that, that, that that is a big issue here in Kawasukari. It is a big issue on this end. Nemalize na kuambia, ya kwamba, having done that hospital, as, a, as a Odiembo requested, here at the shopping center, tutafanya kabro hiyo shopping center yote. Mzuri. We have secured solar street lighting that we are going to start installing in the month of March. I have made a policy also, for those that are in the know, that the county of Kiambu now, all our public power systems, be it street lighting, be it public facilities, we are doing solar. My bill per month is 142 million for the already existing infrastructure. And that's what I found in office. So for you, for most of you who may hear, I cry here and there, Badu, Badu, why has the governor put street lighting? It's because I told those that were running to Kenya Power to go and bring the ordinary lights that they bring, which are substandard and low quality, they are on day and night. And when they bring my, their bill of 142 million, when I don't pay, they rush to the hospitals and disconnect. So that I can go and look for money to pay. When I pay a bit, they go and disconnect in the market. When I pay a little bit, they dash and disconnect the, the public water project. And they still want, want us to continue that way. That's why I've, I've, I've made a policy we will be doing public street lighting, which is solar, so that it is sustainable and we can afford it. Mchungaji wetu, wacha pia ni seme kwa congregation yetu, watu wakawa sukari, ni mesike vile mume sema kwa sauti ya chini. Wakati mulilizo kama mulipata kuku. Mtalete za kutosha watu. Allow me to explain a little bit for one second. That is a cuckoo. I normally do that with the women of the communities because when I started the school feeding program for our early learners in the entire county, which picked up three months ago, I am having to commit more than almost half a billion every term for that business. I want to empower the women at the community level so that when they get this chicken, you rear the 10 that I have given you, your neighbor has 10, add your own, you have 50, then you'll be our suppliers in the local schools. And that makes sense. Does it make sense? It does. Yes. So mchungaji nataka ni kuulize how watoto wenye wametufanyia hiyo heshima na wamefanya sisi tuheshimiwe kwenye county kwa vile sasa wanaenda shule kesho when they come back between me and you Dr Calvin and we will invite our moderate of the general assembly we should have called these kids to celebrate together with them in this school nataka nitakuachia 200000 wakikuja when they come to eat sisi wote pamoja na hao watoto and then as they do peer-to-peer -peer comparison of notes with those that they have left behind, then utakuwa wewe ni utatuongoza mchungaji. 
na 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 na, 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 na ya kwamba mwalimu bado atakuepo yule mwalimu mwenye ameendesha hii kazi so eh kutwite tuketi pamoja i appeal to the parents and also to the kids across the road in kahawa wendani in mweki in mwehoko and especially in kahawa wendani kio there these bright shining stars who have done exemplary well to shine our light around the country if we introduce mwalimu and our board a peer to peer learning program that you would allow these performers to even go to mwiki there where we have harsher learning conditions and they pick their peers and also train them those that have gone to alliance and i'm glad that uh, you know i've had most of the kids here and our parents have found their way to alliance i'll also be there tomorrow i had a son who was doing exams and uh, i was lucky to also have my son scoring above 400 but let's let's have these kids also being a part of growing the community and teach them early that when they go to alliance they can come during uh, holidays and go to those that are lesser privileged across Mwiki, come up with a program and they can inspire those that have not gotten to that standard and will have a better community by and large in a bigger way. So may God bless all of you. Asante sana. Tutapata na fasi ya kukuja tena. Tunaomba msamaha. Tumekua warefu wa maneno siku ya leo. Na tukikuja siku ingine mchungaji wetu. Eh, tutakuwa wachacho wa maneno. I'm seeing this gentleman because we are going to support uh, we are going to support one of uh, the local leaders here who also lost his son a few days ago in a big challenge. He is Sadaka, uh, Sadaka, 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 Mutupatia ruhusa, tuko na mmoja wenu hapa na ito kaminjo mwenye alipoteza mtoto wake juzi na ametualika tumsaidie hapo kwenye kanisa la ACK kabla tujaenda pahali pengine so utafadhali haya wajambo, santia mutupatia elfu kumi uyu katari uh, santeni kila mtu tuweke yake hapo musiondoke kabla hamjatoa sadaka na mpate baraka si tumeshukuru mchungaji wetu mungu wa bariki, awatenda vya manjini wetu wanakahawa sukari Tutawapatia huduma ile ni ofa. God bless all of you. Thank you. Kabra, uh, musie ende kare ni chini kwanza. Uh, please have a seat. Tuite mwode za tuwa jenu assembly. Ashukuru kwa watoto. Alafu wa ombe. Sidiyo. It's a privilege. This man doesn't come here often. He was here last year in January. So, mwode wa jenu assembly, please come.